Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today for a Flash webinar about Facebook publishing. The goal of Loonly's Flash webinar is to offer you a really quick but in-depth presentation of one very specific Loonly feature. It shouldn't take any longer than 15 minutes out of your day. As a quick intro, I'm uh, Jennifer from the customer success team and Mike, who's also part of the team, will be answering any questions you have in the Q&A section of the webinar. Now, like, let's dive into it so you can take a look how to make the most out of it. First, let's discuss the different types of Facebook accounts available. We support Facebook pages and groups that you administrate depending on what type of account you manage. You'll have different features available. For instance, um, interactions and analytics are only available for Facebook pages. To connect your Facebook account, you'll need to go to the social accounts tab of calendar settings. So I'm going to calendar settings, then social accounts tab. If this is your first time connecting to Facebook through your profile, you'll need to accept permissions. I've done that already, but you'll just need to go through a, a few steps. And for Facebook groups, you'll need to authorize Loonly as a group app so we can publish on your behalf. But you'll be able to see um, the different pages and groups that you administrate and you can go ahead and connect that and then if you have the ads account for Facebook pages you can also connect that as well. So now that you have your Facebook page or group connected let's look at how you can post engaging content with Loomly. First you'll need to I um, decide how frequently you're going to publish content. At Loomly, we highly recommend being consistent. So we'll go ahead and go create a new post. And once you have identified your ideal posting cadence, for example, if you wanted to publish at 10 a.m. every day, you can create scheduling slots for your preferred publishing schedule. So you can save time when you create posts in Post Builder. And then we also suggest different types of post ideas to you, including um, trending topics. Let's go ahead and pick today's date as well. So we can see that. You'll be able to see um, trending topics from your Twitter locations, RSS feed items from your own custom selection of content feeds, and recurring uh, broad ideas based on best practices and inner internet coats, which are the Loomly inspirations, and also um, Loomly ideas, which are just events, holidays, and celebrations happening on specific dates. And you can also create your own custom post ideas. You can also select post labels, which will help you categorize your posts within Loomly, identify at a glance throughout Loomly which campaign or um, category they belong in. So um, for this step, you just select the different social channels you want to publish to. And then in this section, you'll define the content and media applied to all your selected channels, which you can then fine tune in the next step. You can also add emojis with our emoji keyboard um, and up upload different images as well with our Unsplash integration, as well as different ways. And we also have a hashtags manager. Um, and to use hashtags manager, you can find it in generic or fine tuning steps. In other words, step three and four of post builder below the uh, copy field with this icon here. Um, you'll see suggestions based off of your copy that you can add to your post with this green hashtag, uh, green plus icon, which will automatically be added to your copy, as well as trending hashtags. And you can create your own collection of hashtags. Um, you can either add hashtag collections this way or from hashtags manager, or you can also add hashtag collections by, by typing the pound key and then selecting the collection you want to apply as well. Um, and then for the next step, this is where you can fine tune and customize your posts in case you have selected um, multiple media channels, but as we've only selected Facebook, we do not need to customize it, um, but we'll be able to preview the post here. And when relevant, you can also at mention um, other Facebook pages with the at tag. So let me go ahead and just add 
the Loomly page, you'll see uh, different options, and then you'll be able to see it, it highlighted in green in the copy field and added to your preview as well. So next is an optional step that you have available if you select Facebook page. And um, this allows you to do audience targeting and post sponsoring. You can organically target and restrict your audience. And organic targeting is really ideal for brands with a large community or those who need to target a specific subset of their audience. And then you have um, post sponsoring. And this is available if ads manager is connected to your calendar, which allows you to boost your posts within Loomly. And you'll be able to see these steps. Again, these are completely optional, so you can skip this if not unnecessary. Now, you can also, um, now that you've published your content for your audience, it's time to interact with them. Our interactions management tool allows you to apply to Facebook comments, mentions, and view, or view mentions and reply to messages as well. You can efficiently manage interactions with your team by assigning states, assigning collaborators, filtering um, by assigning and creating save replies as well. So let's go through the interactions tool here. You'll go ahead and go to the interactions icon from your calendar's toolbar. And I'll go ahead and show you a few things. You can assign statuses as either unread, read, or close on the group level, which you'll do here. Either mark all as read or close all if you wanted to close all of these. Or you can close specific ones here as well on the individual level or mark it as unread. And then you'll also be able to see um, different replies as well. Um, and then you can filter or you can assign these specific interactions um, by your collaborator. For example, if Mike was best suited to answer a specific question, you can always assign that specific collaborator to any specific interactions. And then also we allow you to create edit and um, apply and also delete any saved replies for interactions to save you time when engaging with your fans and followers. Finally, you can measure and analyze and prove your success with Loomly um, Facebook Analytics. Loomly Analytics allows you to measure posts and performance post performances once they have been published. You can then identify at a glance which topics and content types your audience is most interested in and have that looped in back into your planning process. So we provide advanced analytics that show account um, posts and link metrics and compare performance over time. For advanced analytics, you can access that from the analytics icon from your uh, navigation bar of your calendar. And here's some other information we offer. Uh, Loom.ly click count sources locations. And for Facebook, uh, we'll show you the account level statistics, such as your total number of page likes and total reach on Facebook, um, as well as um, post metrics, as you can see here, a post metrics table for posts uh, published not only within Loomly, but outside of Loomly as well. And then if you have over 100 followers, we also may be able to pull demographics information for Facebook pages. You can also filter your posts by date and comparison periods here, and also filter post metrics table by labels. And finally, you can also export your content either into a PDF or Excel spreadsheet so that you can share for offline viewing. Finally, basic analytics can be found in post view, and this is offered on our base plan or if you have not activated advanced analytics yet, we'll show basic metrics such as likes so you can see which posts are performing better. And that wraps up today's webinar. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to review our FAQ section for more information. If you have any other questions that's not answered on our FAQ, um, you can always contact our team through chat or by emailing us at contact at 
lonely.com. Thank you so much for joining and have a great rest of your day.